We have a very special treat for you this morning. We have a special Christmas message. And it will to be told to you through readings and music. So I invite you to sit back, relax, as I welcome Reverend John, our pastor, to deliver the message. Good morning, my beautiful temple family. Merry Christmas. Good morning, beautiful worldwide family. Merry Christmas. And if you are watching us from colder climes, I want you to know that the sun is shining brightly in beautiful Jamaica. And the blue mountains are dotted with bright, wild yellow daisies called Christmas daisies. The color for Christmas in Jamaica is bright yellow and lots of red. Well, it used to be all red poncettias when I was a child. Now they come in pink and white and variegated and orange, but they all speak of Christmas. And the only snow we have are the bright white euphorbias, which we call snow on the mountains. So come down. It nice down here, you see? <laughs> well, the encouragement today is a story. And it says in, in your program, Reverend John and singers, and you are going to be part of those singers, so I'll tell you when I want you to sing and, and what I want you to sing. What I want you to sing is in your order of service. So listen up, you ready for a wonderful, beautiful Christmas story? About a week before Christmas, my family bought a beautiful new nativity scene. But when we unpacked it, we found not one, but two figures of the baby Jesus. Someone must have made a mistake with the packing. We have one Joseph, one Mary, three wise men, three shepherds, two lambs, a donkey, a cow, an angel, and, and two babies. Oh dear, I, I suppose there is a set down at the store that is missing a baby Jesus because here we have two. Well, John dear, Run down back to the store and tell the manager that we have an extra Jesus. Give him our number and tell him to put a sign on the remaining boxes saying that if a set is missing a baby Jesus, he should call us. And make sure you wrap up good. You see, it is freezing cold out there. The night is dark with snow descending. Bells gaily chime a festal song. The Christ is born. The Christ is born. His mother bending o'er him smiles upon his face sublime. Bells gaily chime a festal song. The Christ is born, the Christ is born. No warm white covering in the manger to keep the babe from bitter cold. Only the cobwebs for the stranger From rafters high They hang gray and old He on the fragrant hay is sleeping Warmed by the breath of friendly cow the oxen gentle watch are keeping around the little child divine. The snow upon the roof piles higher, but heaven opened where it fell. Hark! All in white the angel choir To shepherds sing 
Noel, Noel. But friends, at this tour, I, I watched the manager of this tour copying down my wife's message. And the next time we were there, we saw the cardboard sign that read, if you're missing baby Jesus, call 456-7126. <laughs> All week long, we waited for someone to call. Surely someone was missing that important figurine. And each time the phone rang, mother would say, I, I bet that's about Jesus. But it never was. Look, darling. There are thousands of these nativity sets scattered all over the country. Mm. And the figurine could be missing from a set in Florida, or Texas, or California, or even Jamaica. <laughs> Packing mistakes happen all the time. And we don't, why don't we just put, put aside the, the extra Jesus? Put him back in the box and forget about it. What? Put baby Jesus back in the box? What a terrible thing to do. Okay, okay. <gasps> Someone will call. We'll just keep the two of them together in the manger until someone calls. At five o'clock on Christmas Eve, no call had come. By this time, mother had begun to feel really concerned, as only mothers can. Oh, I just can't bear not knowing what's going on. Dear, can you just run back down to the huh? store to see if there are any sets left? I mean, you can see them right there through the window, over on the counter. Uh, look and see if they're all gone, and then we will know for sure that someone is bound to call tonight. Run down to the store, darling. It's 15 below out there. <sighs> I knew it was pointless arguing with mother. When she had made up her mind that she wanted something done, it's got to be done. I gave a long sigh and headed for the front door, muttering as I reluctantly walked out in the cold. The woman was mad, you know. <laughs> anyway, just, uh, I can't believe I'm doing this. A short time later, I arrived at the store and peered through the window. Oh my gosh, they're all gone. Every set must be sold. The mystery of the missing Jesus will be solved tonight. Mary, did you know? that your baby boy would one day walk on water. Mary, did you know that your baby boy would save our sons and daughters? Did you know that your baby boy has come to make you new? This child that you delivered he will soon deliver you. Mary, did you know that your baby boy will give sight to a blind man? Mary, did you know that your baby boy would calm a storm with his hand? Did you know that your baby boy 
has walked where angels trod. And when you kiss your little baby, you've kissed the face of God. Oh, Mary, did you know? The blind will see, the deaf will hear, the dead will live again. The lame will leap, the silence will speak, the praises of the Lamb. Oh, Mary, did you know that your baby boy is Lord of all creation. Mary, did you know that your baby boy will one day rule the nations? Did you know that your baby boy was heaven's perfect lamb? Oh, and the sleeping child you're holding is the great I am. Mary, did you And so friends, when I realized that all the manger sets were gone, I immediately turned on my heels and headed back home. Back at the house, I noticed that mother was gone. And so was the extra baby Jesus. I reasoned that someone must have called and she went out to deliver the figurine, so I started pulling off my boots. And then the phone rang. I thought it was someone calling to tell us that they were the ones missing the baby Jesus, but it was mother calling with instructions for us to come to 205 Chestnut Street immediately. And bring three blankets, a box of cookies, and some milk. Oh, God. <laughs> now, what has she gotten us into? So anyway, once again, I bundled up back into the boots, put on my gloves and my coat. 205 Chestnut. Why, that's way across town. I had to wrap up the milk in the, in the blankets or it would surely turn to ice before I could get there. <laughs> Why can't we all just get on with Christmas? It's probably 20 below out there now and the wind is picking up of all the crazy things to do on a night like this. I don't know how I'll we'll get there. Just a little further to go The donkey, him walking As fast as him able Just a little further to go Oh, Joseph and Mary The baby soon born Come sing a little Christmas morn, just a little farther to go. But the shepherds, them coming with sheep bells a ringing, just a little farther to go. They watching the sheep with the angels, them singing. Just a little farther to go Oh, Joseph and Mary The baby newborn Sing Alleluia On Christmas morn Just a little farther to go And then came three a little farther to go to see the sweet baby and bow down in wonder just a little farther to 
Just a little farther to go, just a little farther to go. Just a little farther to go. And so when I realized that all the danger sets were gone, I went to the house on 2005 Chestnut Street and it was the darkest building on the block. Only one tiny light burned in the living room, and the moment I set foot on the porch steps, Mother opened the door and shouted, Oh, thank God you are here. Take, take those blankets into the living room and, and wrap up the little ones on the couch. I'll take the milk and cookies. Would you mind telling me, Ethel, what I go on? <laughs> I've just walked through below zero weather with the wind in my face. All the way, and I, I can't... Uh, never mind all of that now. There isn't any heat in this house, and this young mother is so upset that she just doesn't know what to do. Her husband walked out on her and those poor children, and, and they will have a very bleak Christmas, so you just don't complain. Okay, there, okay, there. I told her that you could fix the oil furnace. Yeah, man, no. Because, you know, it broke down. <laughs> and so mother strode off to the kitchen to warm the milk while I helped to wrap up the five little ones who were huddled together on the couch. The children's mother explained that her husband had run off, taking bedding, clothing, and almost every piece of furniture. What wrong with them, Monday? But she had been all right until the furnace broke down. I've been doing washing and ironing for people and cleaning the five and dime store. I saw your number every day there on those boxes on the counter. And when the furnace went out, that number kept going through my mind. Four, five, six, seven, one, six, two. Four, five, six, seven, one, six, two. It said on the box that if a person was missing Jesus, they should call you. That's how I knew you were the good, kind-hearted people willing to help others. I figured that maybe you would help me too. Um, so I stopped at the grocery store tonight and I called your missus. I'm not missing Jesus, mister, because I sure love the Lord, but I'm missing heat. I have no money to fix the furnace. Okay, my love, okay, you come to the right place. <laughs> I always can do the right thing at the right time, right, Ethel? <laughs> You've got a little oil burning over there in the dining room. Shouldn't be too hard to fix, you know. It's probably just a clogged flue. I'll look it over and see what it needs. So as I set about fixing the heater, mother came into the living room carrying a plate of cookies and warm milk. As she set the cups down on the, the coffee table, I noticed the figure of baby Jesus lying in the center of the table. It was the only sign of Christmas in that house. Thank you.
The children stared wide-eyed with wonder at the plate of cookies mother set before them. And I finally got the oil burner working and told her, you need more oil, my love. I'll make a few calls tonight and get some oil. Yes, sir. You surely come to the right place. <laughs> On the way home, I didn't complain one bit about the cold, did I? <laughs> I barely set foot inside the door when I was on the phone. Hello, Ed. Hey, man, how you doing? Happy, happy, all the best to your man and the family. Look here, Merry Christmas. Say, Ed, you still drive that mash-up old pickup truck with the big barrel of oil on the back of it? Oh, wonderful. I knew you would have some oil. You know, you're a man who always has a cure for every sore. Look here, we have an important job to do tonight. So by this time, the rest of the, my family was pulling clothes out of the closets and toys off the shelves, and it was long after the kids' bedtime, but we didn't notice as we wrapped gifts for our newfound friend and family. The pickup came, and on it were piled chairs, three lamps, blankets, and gifts. And even though it was 30 below, I let the children ride along in the back of the truck. Congregation, turn to page six and sing with me. Good news, good news. <laughs> Sing. Good news, good news, great joy and gladness abiding. For Jesus, the Son of God, is born to the world today. I bring happiness and joy, good news to cheer you along the way. Good news to banish your sadness, pain, and gloom, and keep you singing each day. hear what the angels say. Good news, good news, great joy and gladness abiding. For Jesus, the Son of God, is born to the world today. I bring sweet and lasting peace to cheer you and all your heart, to be with you every night and day, and from you never depart. Good news, good news, behold, I bring you good tidings. Good news, good news, come hear what the angels say. Good news, good news, we know that is abiding. For Jesus, the Son of God, is born to the world today. Give yourself a hand, yourself a wonderful. Mm -hmm. Friends, no one ever did call about the missing figure in the nativity set. But as we, as students of science of mind, know, it wasn't a packing mistake at all. For you see, friends, the Christmas story is always playing itself out in the lives and affairs of each of us. And so let me conclude by telling it as your story. And so it came to pass as it must at some time for all people, that there is sent out a decree from the heart that all the world of effects be examined. All must go each into his or her own city where none other may enter. It is the realm of the human mind. And this place is Bethlehem, a place of birth and new beginnings but often crowded with random thoughts, confusions, and questions about our purpose. And there is no place in this busy city and no room to give birth to the Christ consciousness that seeks to come through each and every one of us. And so with Joseph, which represents your inner strength, and Mary, representing your soul of love, carrying the infant knowing of your Christ potential, you enter the din and the chaos and hubbub of Bethlehem and seek shelter 
in the stable, your center of light. In this holy, complete light, you bring forth, forth the firstborn knowing of your Christ's potential, and your heart becomes a manger to nurture the power of truth born for you this night. And there, in the same country of your mind, are shepherds, your intuition and your feelings, which keep watch over your thoughts in the darkness of unknowing. When, lo, the angel of the Lord, your inner guidance, speaks unto you, and the glory and the truth of your being shines as a great light all around, and your guidance speaks to your intuition, saying, Be. Be not afraid of the still small voice within you, for it speaks of great joy and shall be to all people. For unto your conscious awareness this day is born a savior, which is your Christ consciousness, the awakened awareness of God within you. And it is to be a sign unto you that forever you shall find this consciousness cradled within the manger of your heart. Your intuition and your whole being shall sing glory to the power of truth in your highest knowing of God and to the earth of your daily affairs, and you shall know peace, compassion, and God will towards all. And when this inner guidance seems to leave you, as it sometimes does, and you enter again into the business and the busyness of Bethlehem, make haste to seek the soul of love and the inner strength that you have within you, and ask them to again guide you to the infant knowing of your Christ consciousness. And so my friends, right there is your assignment. During this period and beyond and in the year to come, whenever you feel yourself battered and bombarded by the chaos of the busy city outside, just close your eyes and say, Christ is born in me. Glory be, glory be. Can we say that together? Christ is born in me. Glory be, glory be. And when Herod, that part of your ego which is opposed to the new and still clings to the old beliefs, hears these things, it will become troubled and seek to gather evidence that this Christ's light in you does not exist. But follow the star, my friends, the light of truth within you, and come again to this table, the center of light. And present those gifts which are of spirit, gold, representing richness of life, frankincense for the beauty of life, and myrrh for the eternity of your life. And be reminded by your conviction that when you leave this center of light, even for a moment, you depart into the world of effects by a different door of awareness. For when you have experienced the birth of Christ within, there is no returning to your previous levels of consciousness. When you have experienced the birth of Christ in your own heart and in your own lives, my friends, you can't turn back. There is no turning back from the certainty of what you are here and to do and who you are here to be. And so, the real you, this Christmas day, has been birthed. Just for a moment, close your eyes. There, you have taken your first breath. So gently open your eyes and say to your neighbor, you are the Christ in Christmas, Merry Christmas. You are the Christ in Christmas, Merry Christmas. You are the Christ in Christmas. So let us stand and sing Noel Dexter's wonderful Jesus is Born, found on page six. There are two carols, one named Jesus Born, one named Jesus is Born. It's Jesus is Born. Jesus is Born, sing it loud every girl and boy. Jesus is Born. Sing his praises and shout for joy. Jesus is born, the high and the low. Jesus is born, Jesus is born, let the world know. To bring the good news to the poor and the lowly, to teach us forgiveness, to make us all holy. 
from prison he came. Jesus is born, Jesus is born, oh praise his name. Jesus is born. Christ in Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.